Hey, good evening Twitch, and apologies for the late start there. Um, yeah, excuse the uh, slightly disheveled look, I am just out of the shower, so. Um, <clears throat> hope you're all doing well. Today I am going to be starting. I do not intend on finishing it, because I do believe it is a longer game. Um, a game that I probably should have played a long fucking time ago. Um, a game that is a spin-off of my favourite game of all time, if not my, probably my favourite game of all time. Let's turn that down a little bit. <clears throat> there we go, that's a lot better. Probably my favourite game of all time, Final Fantasy VII. Um, you know, I'm a, I've, I've, I own countless copies of it. Well, I say countless. I own it for the PS1. I bought it again on the PS3. I bought the PS4 version. I own it on. I owned it on PC. I don't think I own the box. I definitely don't own the box version anymore. Um, yeah, the PS1 version on the PS3 plus the actual PS4 port. Um, I'm tempted to buy it on PS uh, Switch as well. Um, I've even played a lot of it in Japanese. Um, I used it for a wee while in terms of actually learning Japanese. But um, yeah, I love Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII Remake, I was probably one of the first people, well, I was definitely one of the first people to play it because I, I got it like a week early. Um, and I was 100% out of my friend group, out of the people I know, definitely the first person to not only play it but also beat it. Um, I beat the, the remake, or the first part of the remake, I guess. Um, like five days before street the street date, and uh, yeah, I absolutely fucking love it. I've also, you know, I've, I've seen um, Advent Children several times. I've played through Crisis Core a couple of times, but never, ever, ever have I even played or even looked at Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy Seven, um, and it was just pure luck that. While I was in Dundee last weekend, I uh, opted to just have a, a, a an hour or so of free time to kill, so I walked into CEX, saw it there, thought, I've got the PS2 hooked up again, I, mean, I was planning on playing Mr. Mosquito at the weekend, which I did, uh, still available to watch video on demand if, uh, if anyone is up for it, um, I thought, fuck it, let's just buy it, it's 10 quid, absolutely worth it, or I hope so. Because the issue with this is that it's a very divisive game, so um, yeah, I hear it's not that great. But you know what? Screw it. I'm a bit of a collector when it comes to certain series, and Final Fantasy is one of them. Um, I tend to buy like limited edition versions where possible. Um, this is horrible actually, because I don't know where I will look. I'm looking at myself on my screen here. I should probably be looking at the camera here. But anyway, so Dirge of Cerberus follows, from what I know, follows as a sequel, sequel spin-off to the original game. It uh, features, as you can see, Vincent Valentine as the, the main protagonist. Um, I honestly don't know much about it other than the fact that it's um, a sort of Devil May Cry-esque sort of action platform, or not, I don't even know it's a platform or just an action -y kind of game. Um, and that it came out pretty close to the end of the PS2's run. Um, but yeah, I don't really know anything about the story or anything other than I know that it features Gact. Who um, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of. Anyone who's known me for a long time will know I'm huge into Japanese pop, Japanese rock. Um, and Gact, Gact was basically my gateway to the uh, Visual K scene. Um, and I own not only several Malice Miser CDs, DVDs. Um, but I also own several Gact CDs, so um, and he's, he's he's one of my all-time favorite artists. Um, a lot of respect for Gact, a lot of admiration for Gact. But anyway, before I actually start the game, 
I'll let the uh, the intro sequence play in the background again. So let's um. There's a couple of pages of pre pre game reading. So let's uh, let's get ourselves back into the let's, let's redraw our memory, let's see what happened with uh, with Final Fantasy VII. So the story of Final Fantasy VII. It was an epic tale, a battle for the planet's survival. Actually, I'm not going to read that page. It's it's a, basically a synopsis of Final Fantasy VII, which if you've played the game, you've probably beat the game. And even if you've not played the game, you definitely know the overall story of the game. Um, but we will read the next page, which is the prologue for this game. So, um, three long years have passed since the events of Final Fantasy VII. The meteor had left a tremendous scar on the planet. The once green land withered and the radiant light of Mako vanished. The calamity known as Meteor Fall would never be forgotten by anyone who lived through that fateful day. In the midst of this tragedy, people worked to help one another, and the world slowly began to rise from the ashes of decay and decimation. Just as things began to stabilise, an ominous event transpired in Junon. In the course of a single night, a large number of people disappeared without a trace. News of this mass disappearance carried swiftly th across the globe and spawned rampant speculation. Around the same time in the City of Edge, eerie rumours passed through the streets. Rumours of the screams echoing from nearby Midgar, night after night. At the heart of Meteor's attack on the planet, Midgar had sustained the most damage and was no longer a place for man to dwell. However, records were uncovered that led many to believe that people had been left behind in the city. Television crews and volunteer organisations sent in rescue teams, but not a single person returned. Calm, located to the east of Midgar, also sustained major damage during Meteor Fall, but had managed to recover thanks to the efforts of its people. Plans for a large celebration were underway. Vincent Valentine is summoned to the celebration by Reeve Chuesti. Is that how you pronounce his last name? Chuesti? An old comrade who fought by his side three years ago in the struggle against Sephiroth. As festive participants fill the streets and celebration envelops the town, a mysterious group of soldiers attacks without warning. People all over the town are gunned down or captured by these unidentified invaders. Vincent bears witness to the tragedy unfolding around him and leaps into action. What he doesn't know is that these soldiers are also looking for him. So, um, yeah, so three years after the events of Final Fantasy VII, which, if I remember correctly, has been a long time since I've watched Advent Children. Advent Children took place two years after the, um, the end of Final Fantasy VII. Now, um... One curiosity there, if you've never played or seen anything past Final Fantasy VII, is the City of Edge, which, uh, correct me if I am wrong, I um, I believe that was like a wee settlement outside of Midgar. It did mention there that obviously Midgar is uninhabitable. Um, I believe Edge is like a like some sort of uh, refuge for the, the sort of remaining inhabitants I guess of Midgar um, but I honestly can't remember it's been, a, it's been a long time like I say since I have watched Advent Children excuse me I do need a wee glass of milk <clears throat> which by the way in milk is the drink of kings and I feel sorry for anyone who is lactose intolerant but anyway, enough about the backstory of Final Fantasy VII and my love for the drink of milk. Let us get underway with Dirge of Cerberus. a little bit too loud. Right, okay, so 
game start, tutorial menu, extra features. So I don't believe I actually need to look at any of this. Maybe just a moment, I'm just going to play about with the settings in my own DAW. I want to be able to hear myself, but I want to be able to hear the game. So that sounds fine, that sounds okay to me. That shouldn't have affected your hearing of me. Let me just um, oh, that's fine. So what we've got here, extra features, event viewer, character viewer, sound gallery, art gallery, extra missions. I assume none of that is relevant just now. So what we'll do is uh, just go straight into the game, fuck the tutorial. Tutorials are for losers. So. This mode offers balanced gameplay and difficulty appropriate for players with little action game experience. Or we can go for hard, refined combat skills will be required for this mode featuring intensified battles and increasingly powerful enemies. Recommended for players with extensive FPS experience. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm terrible at FPS games. Um, and if you know me at all, you will know that I am a big advocate for the normal difficulty because I feel like anything above that is uh, not how the game was intended to play, or be played, sorry. So, um, we'll stick with normal. Plus, I've heard the cameras and the controls are a bit iffy on this, so I don't really want to get myself stuck in a mode where I um, fuck myself over. So, let's just go into normal. Create save data on the memory card in memory card slot 1. Yes. Game is auto saving whenever this small icon appears in the upper right corner of the screen. During that time, do not remove the memory card or turn off the power. No problem. So like I say, I, I, I'm fairly certain this game is a little bit more along the lines of like, uh, like Devil May Cry or that kind of gameplay. Um, I imagine it's not as refined. Oh, this is a long fucking, long fucking save. I'm not even saving the game yet. I'm, I think this is just the pure system settings. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Commencing system configuration settings it may be adjusted later by accessing the config menu. Cool. So let's have a look here. So vibration, we'll keep that on. I do love a good bit of vibration. Subtitles, definitely keep them on. Sound output, Dolby Pro Logic 2, that's fine. I don't know what site support. When set to autom semi-automatic, the site will be drawn to close by targets. When set to automatic, the site will be drawn and fixed onto close by targets. Okay, so it's kind of like a... Um, Okay, auto aim kind of thing. That's cool. No problem. Complete setting configuration and proceed. Yes, please. So this looks like the end of Final Fantasy VII, where um, Seth, Ro Seth, Seth Roth, sorry, has um, of course summoned Meteor. Oh, looks okay. like it could be Yuffie. Let's get Absolutely Yuffie. Just Yuffie Kasuragi, keep on I guard until you're clear of the red zone. Shot of her arse, well listen. done here. How about you? Finished. But Yuffie, I want you to check the Mako cannon. But oh, sorry, Yuffie, Yuffie, not Yuffie. What? what the? Just as I thought. Hold on. Hold on. This is crazy. There's no way anybody could be up there. No! Yuffie, rendezvous with Cloud and the others. It looks like I still have some work to do. Hey, whoa! Vincent? Get out of there! I have a bad feeling about this!
Fojo, the uh, maniacal scientist from Final Fantasy VII, of course. Well, Hojo should be dead. Oh, wait a second, this is, uh, this is Junon, so this must take place during Final Fantasy VII. If I remember correctly, you actually defeat Hojo in Junon. interesting already because the thing the funny thing with Final Fantasy 7 is that neither Vincent or Yuffie are mandatory characters obviously you can complete the entire game without even seeing either of them um, exactly yeah so that was the end of Final Fantasy 7 so I'm, I'm guessing and the funny thing is because neither of them are, are mandatory characters they're not tied to the main story of the game in any way so the the final cutscene the ending sequence for example um, is like no no pre-rendered cutscenes feature Yuffie or Vincent, and it's, it's a kind of recurring thing that neither of them are in the ending sequence. I wonder if this is them retconning that to say that while obviously although you can have them in the party for the ending sequence, so I wonder if this is them retconning this so that while the rest of the party were off defeating Sephiroth at the Northern Crater, Yuffie and Gretia. Vincent were chilling out at Junon doing their thing here. Koreshi obviously being a, another character who is only touched upon really in the original game. Why? I am the one who should apologize. Three weeks ago, our crew left for Midgar. However, the group's whereabouts still remain unknown. What really happened down there? Tonight, for the first time, we bring you the final transmission received before all contact was lost. For the past three years, this door has remained sealed. However, that seal's about to be broken. There are no records of this place located deep beneath the Shinra building, another of the company's secrets revealed recently. According to investigative reports, there is evidence that thousands of people were once transported here. If rumors of the Shinra company conducting human experiments are true, then this may be where those nefarious deeds were carried out. To bring you this exclusive footage, Channel 7 News has teamed up with volunteer organization... Oh, wait, I think I see something. Hey, here we go! So this looks like it should be, could be Cam, or possibly even this Edge. I would imagine Edge looks a little bit less organised. Yeah, this is definitely Calm. That's the thing as well, like Shinra are obviously the uh, main antagonist for a lot of the original game, but they are actually not, no time in the, the actual game were they defeated. <laughs> Rufus himself was uh, alleged dead until they turned up again in Advent so he's Even Rufus, Shinra himself, is still alive and kicking. Turks are alive and kicking. Most of the characters in the game are actually still alive by the end of it. Move it. We call back to one of the uh, concepts artwork for Vincent Valentine in the original Final Fantasy VII. So 
I'm standing facing the, the full moon which I imagine would actually be in, in Calm actually no it would be in Nibelheim alright Sea of Flames okay is the menu uh, the menu the manual elaborate looks like oh shit fuck me man that was uh not ideal right I don't even know what the control right okay seeing, seeing as this just totally threw me at the deep end here let me just have a quick look in the manual so what are the actual controls here so move operate like X is jump, circles melee. Main menu, okay, so shoot is R1, which is obviously the obvious choice. Yeah, okay, so it's just it's just R1. Oh, there we go. That's fine. What have we got here? Potion. Potion obtained. Use items by accessing the item function located within the main menu. Items can also be selected using left or right on the D-pad. That's fine. Oh man, you s that's a slow ass fucking climbing the ladder. Handgun bullet. Oh shit, so there's actually a limited amount of ammo in the game. Press R2 at any time and reload a weapon. That's interesting. Is that, is that what the um What have we got here? 500 gil. There's 15 out of 18 plus 198 bullets left by those things. Run out! Give back up! Oh, nice. Some more handgun bullets and some more gill. You can see why people say this is a little bit awkward, because it is a little bit awkward. Right, okay, where are we going? I do wish, can I, um... There we go, sight speed, so let's uh, put that up, because that is turning very slow. Oh, there we go, that's much better. Should I increase the camera to accommodate as well? Oh, actually, that's that's incredible. One thing to note that I thought was really cool about this game, just when I was having a nosy through the manual, this is one of the only PS2 games in existence that supports a mouse and keyboard. More you know. I thought that was fucking cool. Not that I feel like a mouse and keyboard would probably be great for this type of game, but I mean, maybe. Maybe it actually would work. Maybe it'd work much better. Right, where are we going? What's down here? Man, the controls are actually quite awkward. Like fuck. It's going to take a little bit of tweaking. Maybe that's a bit too fast. Keep the camera there as well. That's probably a bit better. See, I don't know. Oh, of course, I'm going the right way for them. Now, where am I supposed to meet Reeve? I don't imagine it's a particularly difficult map to follow. Should I go back upstairs for a moment? I'm sure I missed something. Just 
one potion. How do I use a potion? Oh, there's a first person view as well. That's cool. Maybe this game would be much better, mouse and keyboard. I do have a mouse as well, it's a shame I don't have a keyboard. to the civilians. Don't kill me! Point discovered. Step on these glowing areas to absorb Mako energy. Mako energy is used to power materia activated to weapons. S plus that. Press L1 to activate the materia. Oh, fire materia obtained. Equip materia to weapon by accessing the customized function located in the main menu. Press L1 while aiming to activate it. Okay. So we've got the Cerberus. What's going on here? Ah, right, okay, that's a materia function. This must be like accessories or some shit. That's cool, and you can save three different um, things as well. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. I'm assuming there's not much up here. Oh, shit, he's still alive. I forgot what the melee function as well. Oh, what's this? Some small child. Thank you. Oh. A cheeky 500 gil as well. What's, a, what's around here? Another small child, perhaps? Are, are they still out there? No. Not anymore. They look like they're from Final Fantasy X. All right, come on. They legitimately just look like models pulled from Final Fantasy X. They've got the same art style and everything. a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. That's a bit better, I think. Okay, so... Shooting at me. Some other bastard. What else have we got around here? Alright, can't go that way. Can't go that way by how it seems. Where am I going? Right. Can I jump over this? Electromagnet electromagnetic barricades are used by deep ground to hinder the progress of their enemies. Card keys carried by DG soldiers are required to deactivate them. Right, so don't jump into them. 
There's some more cops coming. Oh shit, they got him. Oh, there's a car key there. So that's a dead end. I'm assuming I can't destroy that. It's unfortunate. Is there anything else around here? This is quite awkward. Look at, look at the run and stuff. It's very much clearly designed with the uh, first person in mind. Limit break ready. There we go. Activate Vincent's limit break and transform into the powerful Galleon Beast by using the limit breaker. Vincent will return to his normal form after a set period of time or when R1 and L1 are pressed simultaneously. So let's uh, recharge our Mako, I guess. Assuming I'm gonna face some sort of boss very shortly that will allow though be very, very beneficial for the limit break itself. Like how that person doesn't have a name, it's just civilian. Filthy hands off my civilian pals. Oh shit, that's uh, that one civilian. Save the abducted girl. Who's shooting me? Okay, this guy. How do I use a potion? I have no idea. Anyway. Oh. Oh, is this them here? There we go. Get to fuck you, cunt. Right, where the fuck are they coming from? Right, okay, so there's the mom there. I think that's a teddy bear. Can I just go open the door now, I guess? I say, surely that cunt's going to be in there still. And there he was. Mommy! <laughs> <gasps> right, 
Alright, civilian saved. So where am I off to now? Up this way? Oh shit, I'm running out of fucking ammo here. Okay, the card key. So it's clearly on the end of this alleyway. Okay. So maybe I need to use the melee. I really don't want to be using any more uh, ammo than I need to. Be all right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The epic fucking cape wave as well, just to show off how cool I am. Right, sniper scope obtained. Equip this item by accessing the customized function located within. When equipped, press R1 to zoom in on targets locking in far off locations. Cool. Shit. Right, so the car keys there. Oh, shit, that says danger. I don't want to fucking melee that. What's this? Five hundred gil. Hey, China two. What is this? This is the. Um, Amazingly awful, I guess. Uh, spin off to Final Fantasy VII, starring the one and only Vincent Valentine, uh, which I picked up at CEX actually when I was in Dundee. Fucking batter him, you can't. Right. Right, what does the fuck does the Phoenix Down do in this situation? Instantly restores all HP when. Oh, okay, well. What the fuck do you mean I can only carry one? Oh, actually, I just used a. Wait, did I steal a potion there? So the other Phoenix. Yeah, let's see the other Phoenix Down. Long barrel. The long barrel increases the weapon's power as well as its range. Sick. <laughs> right, let's equip this uh, long barrel then. So, what's that? Lower weight, lower speed. Increase power, increase range. Go. Cool. Deal with that. <clears throat> Looks like it's boss time. Dragonfly. Where the fuck is he?
course there's loads of fucking shitey goons. Well, there is a bunch of Mako restore things. Alright, where is the. Oh shit! I suppose I'm supposed to be able to dodge that. Oh, come on! I'm sure I've seen another Mac or store thing. Be <laughs> got here a potion. Oh, there's the Mac thing there. Really, I just want to use some Mac against this. Uh, Bastard of a. So that's him. He's down. Surely. It's rather uneventful. Slightly anticlimactic. Vincent Valentine. We found you. Is this the one? Yes. Alright, so this person's called Shelk. Although her appearance is that of a ten year old girl, Shelk is actually a member of the Sviet. An elite on the deep ground unit. Her specialties include the ability to dive into virtual networks and wield two EM sabers in combat. She is working closely with Azul in search for Vincent's whereabouts. Azul being that big, muscular freak of nature binder. Also a member of the Sviets. His appearance has earned him the title of Azul the Cerulean. His greatest love is battle and his awe-inspiring power allows him to wield a tank's cannon as if it were a toy. Sounds a little bit like Vulcan Raven. From uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. Right, so. Who needs Phoenix Downs in that pish? When you're as good at the game as me. Right, okay, short barrel. Short barrel lightens a weapon as well as increases its rate of fire. Oh, okay, so. When the weight was going down, what it meant was the lightness was going down. No, I'll keep the long barrel for now. Maybe the short barrel will come in handy sometime. the genetic freak himself. The proto-materia. Tell us where it is. Hey, Vice. Hell, Vice. Who the fuck is Vice? Right, I suppose this is what the short barrel might actually be useful for. Not 
Right, okay. Barring all your little bastard cohorts. Right, come on. Why are you still not dead? Challenge accepted. I mean, I don't really want to fight you just yet. I mean, you're like... <laughs> literally one of the main characters. This way! <laughs> Luck is on your side. Hey, unknown, how's it going? I'm sorry. I think this came out at a time when English dubbing was actually meant to be getting better. I like the uh, compression on the audio makes it sound even worse than it is. Vincent Valentine. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Reeve. Nice to see you again. Not a very interesting outfit though. <laughs> it took me a while to decide which costume I'd put on for today. But enough of the small talk. Who are those soldiers that just left? I don't know. The large one called him. To be honest, playing through Final Fantasy VII, that is not the voice I would have given Reeve. Azul the Cerulean? Of the Sviet? Then that could only mean... Commissioner! I only mean what? Come on. Can't leave us hanging like this. Come on, you bastard. We'll discuss this later. WRO troops have arrived and commenced rescue operations. We could use your help, Vincent. Reeve. Hmm? I don't know what you're up to. But I want absolutely no part of it. But you fought alongside us three years ago. We need your help once more. Oh, no way are they killing off Reeve at the fucking first hurdle of the game. Reeve is good. Reeve. Hey, that was a Reeve. <laughs> that was a close one. I never was good at fighting. Luckily, I came out wearing Reeve. You're really not a bad bloke, are you, Vincent? Ah, you pretend not to care, but you always come through in the end. <laughs> I also didn't really take... All right. Kate Sheath to be... To do? Scottish. Let's run those lads out of town. I'll leave the method up to you. When you've tidied things up, meet me at the square in front of the East Church. Scottish stereotypes, man. Right, assess the W. I don't even know what the W arrow is yet. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. What's that? Am I proud you've started? What was that you started? Oh, sui.
Marco back. Oh, these are good guys, yeah? Where are they fighting? I can't see any more bad guys. Am I meant to be going now? Oh Christ, am I meant to be going all the way back to the start of the level? Here's you just fanning about inside the uh Oh shit, I didn't want to use that. Never mind. Oh, at least they're in now, so hopefully they'll actually help me out. Rather than have to do the fucking whole lot myself. As is the norm in these kind of levels. Mr. Vincent Valentine. I'm an officer with the World Regenesis Organization. World Regenesis Organization. If you require any assistance. Who are you? The WRO was originally established three years ago after Meteor Fall. Genova war hero Reeve Chuesti at its helm. Our organization is dedicated to aiding the healing process of the planet, as well as protecting it from any who attempt further harm. Sir! Vital rations. This nutritious diet supplement developed by WRO scientists instantly restores a few HP and MP. Fucking brilliant. Wait, how much are they? It says zero, so I assume they're free. So please, I will take the whole lot. Sir! Proceed to the East Church just past these buildings. Hurry, we will assist you in securing the area. Cool. We're here. Hurry! Wait for me! Come on! George! Over there! A griffin. Equip this item by accessing the customized blah, blah, blah. This machine gun type frame is capable of rapid fire. Okay. So I assume this is where we uh, sort out the loadouts. Hey, Bing Bong 7781, how's it going? Fire on the sniper scope as well, and some fire materia. Oh, they have a different type of ammo as well. Cool. Right, let's uh, see what this gun's made of. the slowdown you can tell it's a late you know, PS2 game because it's slowing all the way fucking down to like fucking Thank 15 you. FPS or some pitch like that. Appreciate the backup. I'm glad you're on our side, sir. So just said 200 followers. Awesome man congrats. Live right now. How about me? Did I get used to those camera settings? I think I'm starting to get used to the camera settings. Um I did play, not last night, the night before, I played a couple of games um, with my friends, but it wasn't the most successful of nights, but um, I think it's just a case case of getting um, getting used to the, uh, the, the camera again and just getting better at the game, I guess. We all have those bad nights. 
What you're playing just now? You still you playing Rocket League yourself? Chan, they're gonna do a celebration stream tomorrow. Let me know when you're live, mate. I'll, I'll come along and say hello. What's the point in having a fucking scope if you can't actually shoot anything with it? <coughs> Let's go for the griffin. Yeah, this Cerberus here. There we go. Double jumping in this and I'm a rocket league. Pretty sure I'm indeed going the correct way. Oh shit, have I actually missed something? There's a. What's this thing on the map here? Down now, look. That's a long fucking way back. Let's see if I find out this is just a fucking nothing. Fuck, right, okay, there we go. I can understand why people are complaining about the controls in this because they are actually god awful. Oh, I don't have a card key for this. Oh, you motherfucker, okay. So there's a. Uh, okay, I get you. So I'm locked up with that. Ah, well, what a waste of time that was. So obviously, I used the original card key to get in that little side room get whatever hell was in that case and use the other card key to get, get the uh, the actual main exit, but too late now, I guess. So I can't get over the animation, you, know, you run a little bit to the left or right and it's, it's horrible, it's so PS2, man. Fucking love the PS2. What a fantastic console. Is this the dragonfly back for revenge by looks of things? So gonna fuck you up, brother. Dragonfly GL, yeah. What if I change to the Griffin for this? Then I can fucking do all sorts of shit here. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of damage I'm doing here. Oh shit! Right. Okay. That's uh. Here's a couple of potions. That's what I like to see. Oh, 
Oh, I managed to avoid it all. Fantastic. Alright, so I'll just wait for this to lower itself again a bit, I guess. Reload. fucking ammo here so let's uh, switch back oh it's dead one, one more hit and it was gone so that'll do me that's why I was doing this thing oh maybe not just gonna just try and clear the battlefield of items really weird thinking back on those options at the start of the game is that this game came out in 2006 maybe 2005 or whatever in Japan 2006 it has on the box and uh, it still had options for a mono audio output like in 2006 people had HD TVs but there was still a, like an audio mix for people with a fucking monaural television. I don't think I've had a monaural television since like 1990 fucking 1992 or something. And even that had a fucking headphone jack, I'm sure. Some people had surround sound in 2006. That'd be the real Reeve then, I take it. Good work, Vincent. The enemy is retreating. It seems they have finally begun their withdrawal from the call. Good. However, we still require your assistance. Reports our edge is under attack. Here an A rank for the first fucking level. First time playing it is not fucking bad. Yeah, so I missed one of the car keys. Oh, I didn't realise there was actually more civilians to save, other than I know I mean at least they got the abducted girl. I don't think that was optional though. Seven. I don't know what any of this means really. Oh, I can go to the shop and buy some shit. So what? What are we? Yeah, I don't have any high machine gun bullets. So let's. If I want to buy that, how many? Oh fuck! That that got rid of all my gill. That's fine though, because I don't need any of this stuff. Cerberus relief. This accessory slightly increases defense, okay. Uh, 
Oh, great, and now I know there's a bloody... ...option to, uh, to modify your weapons. I wish I knew that long ago. Well, I say long ago, when I opened this screen. Quit an exit at the shop? Yes, nothing else I can do. I've just wasted all my money on fucking ammo. Hey! Toss me another clip! Oh shit. It's fucking Kingdom Hearts all over again. Turning into Heartless. By darkness. <laughs> well, she's not in the manual. Who the hell are you? Ross. Oh, she is. Rosso. Sviets. Member of the Sviets, whose body is stained crimson. She moves with the elegance and speed of a panther. Ferocious and unstable, and can shoot airwaves from her hands. Her dream is to see the world devoid of human life. Jesus, she's a bit dramatic. They wouldn't last a day in deep ground. So this is meant to be like a mix between Fortune and Vamp from Metal Gear Solid 2. They just like pulled a load of Metal Gear Solid characters, changed the names and designs a tad and called it a day. Showdown in the Wastes. Right, so where are we going Brief. now? Who were those men? Deep ground soldiers. Deep ground. Yes. The shadow of the Shinra Company, constructed by the former president, and completely hidden from the rest of the world. Constructed? His goal was to create an army of superhuman warriors, not once letting morality interfere. The man you met earlier, Azul, is also a member of Deep Ground, but he belongs to an elite unit known as the Sviets. The whole organization was kept a secret. That's why there's so little information on them. However, it's nothing like I expected. Not even a person in your position was informed? No. Other than the President himself, the only people who knew of Deep Ground's existence were most likely Heidegger, Scarlet, and the head of biochemical research, Bojo. After the president, I really hate that the power to his son commas of the so subtitles are basically full stops. On the project. As for me, I was told the information was on a need-to-know basis, and as an official in charge of urban development, I guess I wasn't on their list. All the intel we currently have on deep ground was only discovered recently when we came across some of Scarlet's old files. Vincent, have you heard of the mass disappearance that occurred recently in Juno? Hmm. I remember the report saying that 20 or 30 people suddenly vanished. That's what the report would like you to believe. It was determined internally that if the truth was leaked, they wouldn't be able to contain the inevitable panic. The actual number of people that went missing that day was 1,200. Hmm? 1,200 people simply vanished without a single trace. Don't and believe for a second 1,200 people lived in Cam. There was like five people in their tops when I was there in Fantasy VII. Except for the rumors. Since the Junon disappearances, people in Edge have been on edge. They say that you waited there. You can hear screams coming from the direction of Midgar. Could it be the wind? Let me ask you, does the wind sound like a thousand wailing souls? I mean, I wasn't the one that asked if it was the wind. You're the one just making assumptions. Why didn't you say you thought it was the wind? Listen, can you hear them? The cries. Commissioner, a rogue transmission is being broadcast on all wavelengths. What 
every single wavelength. Let's listen then. Who have we got? At last. The time has come to cleanse this world. The pure will be spared for the cause. While the tainted will be hunted down and exterminated. They shall be slashed, strangled, and slaughtered. Beaten, Not gonna lie, that looks like it could be gacked. Crushed, garroted, and impaled. Shot and executed without mercy. <laughs> the time has come to cleanse this world. <laughs> <laughs> Where could that signal have... <clears throat> what was that? Oh shit. That was pretty fucking silly opening a fucking car door while you're in, inside it. I'll take care of your pet problem. Just keep driving. Use this. Oh, nice. Let's sit down and fucking shoot some dogs. Not that I am condoning shooting of dogs because I love dogs. Dogs are my favorite animal in all of the world. Yes. These dogs are demon dogs. They're not real dogs. If they were actual puppets, I'd refuse to do it. I'd have to stop and play a different game. That's a lot of fucking guard hounds, though, fuck's sake. Hey, I'm not gonna lie as well. These weren't that difficult in the original game, so... I don't believe I need a minigun with infinite ammo to, uh... deal with them. My aim is also fucking terrible. dogs right off the fucking car. This is brilliant. Oh, I enjoyed that. That was good. Bet a Mako never killed anyone. Apart from these fucking guard hounds. fall off the car and now I'm gonna have to find my way back surely. Oh no, maybe not. Are you alright? I'll be fine, but that's more than I can say for the engine. Vincent, if possible, I want you to continue on to Edge. That transmission we just saw troubles me. Once I have repaired the Shadow Fox, I'll need to return to headquarters. A WRO squad has already been dispatched to Edge. Join them, and help liberate the city. 
I guess I have no choice. See what else I've got before I continue on with the game. Nothing much. Let's uh, reload. That is not a guard hound. Looks like a big bastard of a hound with his guard hound pals. Don't particularly want to fight you right now. I don't know why I play games like this. Oh shit. Oh, thunder material. I wonder. Uh, I've got a feeling that's going to be like an area of effect kind of spell. Is a red potion when it's on. This blood red potion instantly restores a random amount of HP. That seems fucking pointless. Where's the Crimson Hound? There he is. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Right, H. High potion. Jesus Christ. Red ether. Where's he gone now? him down. Uh, there's definitely a few more though, I can hear them. Jumping about, some more handgun bullets, perfect. Right so I do enjoy that the fucking dog carries a card key though. Is this where we're going? So the map itself, can I move the map around? Yes. This is where I'm going. Of course he's not dead yet. <laughs> Kicked right in the face. I don't like open fields in games because they generally mean there is a boss coming my way.
sacrificing myself for the greater good here. There we go. Oh, that's the end of the stage. Accuracy rate 7%. I'm going to assume that that's due to the... Uh, the rubbish uh, accuracy I had on the um, the minigun earlier. 78 hounds. That's not. Uh, sorry, 48. That was 70 hounds. That's okay. EXP earned in the previous stage can be exchanged for 10,000 gil. I would rather just use it to get better I guess I don't need anything right now that I'm aware of I mean I've got all these kind of things I don't have any ethers but that's fine let's, um, let's upgrade the Cerberus oh wow that really increases the power, doubles power so that's probably got a hell of a lot more use than any ether or anything like that Let's me reach the edge. Silent edge. <laughs> this is a uh, Rosso, is our name? Strangled and slaughtered, beaten, Rosso. stabbed and crushed. Garroted and impaled, shot and executed without mercy. Nicely said, Vites. Oh, so it wasn't Gact. I wonder if this Gact is Genesis. Than the last time. That attire looks a little inappropriate for a scientist, but you do you, girl. Vincent Valentine. Reeves sent me. My apologies. Shalua Rui of the WRO. The commissioner has told me much about you. What happened here? That's what I'd like to know. I'm here on other business, but something's not right. It's too quiet. I've seen no trace of Deep Ground, or the squads that were sent in to fight them. Also, where are the 500 people who are supposed to still be living here? Well, this is getting us nowhere. Like I said, I have business to attend to. I'll see you around. Business? The Commissioner keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. My time searching. Searching for what? For my... reason to live. She should go for an eye patch rather than a pair of glasses, because she's clearly only got one eye. Right, so, well... I am uh, going to take a short break because I am in desperate need of a pee after drinking my nice pint of milk. But uh, bear with me just two moments. I will be back as soon as I can.
thank you very much for your patience. Let us continue with Dirge of Cerberus. I must admit, I am actually a little disappointed that I have not listened to any GACT yet. galore by looks of things. Oh shit. Another other guy behind me. Oh, kicked him away. Down you go. Perfect. Please destroy up. Technically, I could be that soldier in red, but squad wiped out. Where are the pubs? On the edge of town. I spit out, mate. Come on. I know you're dying, but hey, we're gathering civilians. Cool. That's your job done. Rest in peace, young soldier. key as well. Did he leave the card key? Did he just like... <laughs> Is that his uh, dying wish for me to take his card key? Oh. I really can't get that. I'm opening up the one. Is it down here? Oh, there's. Where is it gone? Oh, no, it's all the way down here. I was getting ambushed by a guard guy. Oh, he's gone. Clearly, didn't want to follow me. Right, okay, was that a waste of a card key? Because, uh... Oh, thank God. I thought all that did was fucking take me to a dead end. Oh, the Hydra. This rifle type frame allows for improved accuracy while firing at distant targets. <gasps> Essentially, it's a sniper rifle. Might as well use a potion and take this potion here. Advertising Loveless. Oh, actually, I wonder if this is like a... Oh, okay, no, it just gives me rifle bullets. 
I wasn't sure if it was like a hidden room or something, but no. Clearly this is the way you're supposed to be going because I've just got a fucking brand new gun. Right, damn you go, you bastard. Oh, I thought it was a ladder, but obviously not. What am I taking here? Oh. Thank God for melee. Alright, where are we? Cool, so we're in the the boss arena by the looks of things because it's a big open area. Obviously. In a big open area. Obviously there's a boss. Sniper rifles. So I clearly at this point would really like to change to the Hydra. Probably with a long barrel. And of course a sniper scope. I don't think it really matters what material I use. Done. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Let's use the red potion. Fantastic. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, this is fucking pish. I've got fucking two snipers going after me at once. Oh, I'm dead. Now I can finally rest. Wait a second, do I not have a fucking Phoenix down? How do you use a Phoenix down? Seems a bit silly having a Phoenix down if I can't use it. Right, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Well, that's fucking annoying. So, because I fucking died. I need to start the fucking level all over again. This is pish. This is really pish. Oh, what's this? Shop. It's a very odd looking shop. It looks like a fucking jukebox. <laughs> hey, you motherfucker. How did you jump up there? Oh. I'm still so annoyed about that, by the way. I mean, I know I'm not, it's not going to take me long to get to the rest of the game, but... What the fuck? Right, I don't care about you anymore. Rest in peace, blah blah blah. Let's take your key card. Oh, 
Alright, get the fuck. Come over you. Potion. Grab the uh, Hydra. Grab some rifle bullets. Fuck his all, don't care. Fuck you, I can't believe you even got me there. Right, so let's uh, equip... Hydra. The issue I have is that I don't know where the fuck the snipers are and I don't really want to spend the whole fucking game. Looking for them. Because the draw distance isn't amazing. Let's have a look around the rooftops. There's one. One. Oh, what the fuck? That's the guy shooting me there. That's the guy that kept that. I think that's the guy that killed me last time. Right, it's uh. Definitely at least one more. He'll probably shoot me before I find them. Oh. See, there's a fucking Phoenix down. How do you use the Phoenix Downs? Because obviously I tried... I died last time. Instantly restores all HP when user is KO'd. I suppose I need to use that. I wonder if it like... I think I've got all the snipers. A kid. Let's change back to the Cerberus. Shit, man. Oh, you're joking. More fucking snipers. I just got rid of these. Shoot me from. Fuck off, man. I'm gonna die again. I don't know. 
where these guys are coming from. <laughs> oh, what the fuck do you mean I can't go in there? Right, I'm gonna die again. Where the fuck are those snipers coming from? And why is it so fucking hard? To, uh, to shoot them. Oops. Actually, I actually didn't realize I could swap guns here. shooting me just yet so you can go die though Where is he shooting from? This way, apparently. So unfortunately, I don't have any fucking healing items. I've got a red potion. Right, where the fuck are you? Oh wow, there's a wee little picture of Cloud Strife. Where are you, you bastard? Oh, there's Red 13 as well. I'm so confused here. What well, wait, I'm literally about to die. Violet, there's no sniper. Oh, dead. Fuck this, man. What I would appreciate right now is like a cure or some sort of cure materia, but Alright, well I don't seem to be getting shot at anymore, so this is a good thing. I suppose. I just don't know where I'm going now. So 
can't get through there. I don't think. No car key. That's locked. Fucking game giving me false hope. So where else is there? I've gotten rid of all the snipers. That's also locked. I got the limit breaker. This is not where I was a moment ago. where I came from. Is there something in the middle here? What's this? I'm sure this is the room where the... Uh oh, there we go. Thousand gil, I don't really care about gil right now. I would rather some healing items. Oh shit, son. Fuck you. Right, let's buy some fucking potions. So, buy two of them. Buy three potions as well. Left a 400 gil. Let's uh, use some healing items. The game all saves. I don't understand why. I um. Why the game wants me to suffer by starting the level all over again anytime I die. Here. That's a dead end. Dead end down there. Okay. Survivor spotted. Don't let him escape. Potion and some rifle bullets. <laughs> maybe that's actually just loading rather than auto saving. So used to every cutscene being a checkpoint. I'm actually not used to uh, having a replay shit again. The warehouse. I I know how to get there. It's through that gate. Too bad I don't have a key card. Well that wee boy can key? absolutely fit through the, the slots. Use your words, Vincent, for fuck's sake. Come on. I know someone who does. Follow me. Saving. Hopefully that means that when it's like... Protect the boy. If we're saving... <laughs> Thanks. Right, are we going in here? Because this is where you were going, yeah? A 
I'm hoping by that saving it means that if I do die again I will restart at that checkpoint. Over here. Thousand girl. love that as well on the PS2 era, just uh, ghost characters they can just walk right through you. Right, come on pal. This is another shite thing about the PS2 era though, the whole uh, having to actually walk behind the guy, I can't go up ahead of him or else his, uh, his cue to, to go forward. Right, off you go. <laughs> ah, thanks. There's only, only two things you can say apparently. Right, okay. I know I'm meant to be protecting you and you're meant to be like a fucking... refugee kind of thing like but you can walk a little bit faster than that mate come on there we go With your silly running animation <laughs> oh, we got a couple of snipers This is the kind of part where I would actually run past there. Obviously, if there's fucking snipers, then uh, you'll want to not die. So, tiptoeing across the bridge probably isn't in your best interest. <laughs> Two for one, though, eh? Oh, let me heal myself here. Come on, let's go. Go, little bro. Let me guess, more snipers? key card there. There. That should let you through. Thanks, kid. Right. Thanks, kid. 
event. I couldn't do... Mom and Dad, right? But I... I couldn't move. I was too scared. But... But...
You know, this is the first time I've ever felt the rain on my skin. But then again, I hadn't even seen the sky until a few days ago. So you're Vincent Valentine, keeper of the Proto Materia. Proto Materia? Yes, the key to controlling Omega. We know you have it. Hand it over now, and I'll kill you quickly. Not one to bargain, are we? Then I'll make sure you suffer. Time to die. Lucretia. Why? Awake. So sorry.
Jesus Christ, Talk. I just realized. Why did you let this happen? Silence. You. I have just realized for the last half an hour or so. I have been on mute. I can hear myself in my headphones because I have the monitor on. But I have just been talking to myself like an absolute fanny. <laughs> Not realizing that anyone who watches this cannot hear me. I can't remember when I went on mute. When did I go on mute? I can't remember. Who knows? I'm off mute now, just as I'm going to end the, end, end the stream. Silence! <laughs> takes place in the uh, basement of Nibelheim Mansion. The Shinra Mansion, I should say. That, must, that would be Hojo, I assume. And is this, uh... I assume this is Vincent entering or uh, becoming one with its coffin. So this is the, uh, I can't remember her name, headquarters under siege. Look who's awake. Shalua. Hold on. I'll release you. Where am I? Safe inside the WRO headquarters. I carried you back here from Edge after you collapsed during your fight with Deep Ground. It seems like the beast inside you went a little wild back there. <laughs> I still can't get over that fucking this outfit, man. Often? Went wild? Do you mean chaos? 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 Your body harbors the chaos gene? Oh, so that explains your relationship with Dr. Lucrezia Crescent. Were you the product of one of her experiments? Lucrezia's experiments. I'm sorry, she didn't really love you. I apologize. That wasn't what I meant. Wait. Lucrezia was researching chaos. Don't tell me you didn't know. Crescent, Shinra Class A scientist specializing in biotechnology. In her research thesis, The Planet's Pulse. Oh, 22nd of July Crescent was her birthday. I'm a day off. Residing among us. It's a shame I was actually planning on playing this yesterday. I wasn't really in the best frame of mind for it. I'm so sorry. Awaken. 
Are you alright? Can I see that thesis? Unfortunately, no. On top of being obscure, it was never even submitted to the Shinra database. All I know is what I saw while going through the company's archives. Vincent! Have you recovered already? What is the status of our Keeper? His location remains unchanged since the confrontation. We can assume this is the WRO headquarters. Huh. <laughs> Good. Two birds with one stone. So, Rosso the Crimson told you that Proto-Materia is the key to controlling Omega. Yeah. You bring back the weapons, because they were fucking brilliant. I don't think there was an Omega weapon in um, Final Fantasy VII. Rot of Terra Corrupt. I don't think so, I anyway. know. impurity, purging the stream. There was obviously Emerald and Ruby weapon, Ultima fate. weapon. Behold, mighty chaos. Omega Squire to the lofty heavens. Where'd you...? A passage from Dr. Crescent's thesis. But... that's all I know. Yeah, no Omega weapon in Final Fantasy VII. I saw a fragment of the document. I wonder if that relates to the weapons. Oh shit. That was really loud. Omega... and... All seem to be connected to Dr. Crescent in some way. There's no other explanation. I think we'll need to gather more data on her to get anywhere. What now? Not so safe now, are you? I'm not actually going to play this tonight because it is five past ten. She lost an arm as well. 
It couldn't be. Like I say, I uh, will not be playing any more of this for this evening. Um, it is actually a game that you just... I feel like it's a game you can really burn, on out, burn out on very quickly. Um, I mean, it seems fine. It's not really... From what I've played so far, it doesn't really seem like essential playing in the Final Fantasy VII universe. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but um, yeah, like uh, it seems okay. It's it seems very. I assume the story gets a lot better as it goes. So far, it's just been very moody and very emo. I would have probably really fucking loved it back when I was the tender age of like 16, 17, 18. This was what, 2006 when this came out, so I would have been 17, 18. Um, gameplay isn't the best, let's be honest. It's it's an interesting take on the universe of Final Fantasy VII. Um, Vincent's obviously a, quite an interesting character, but he was obviously the uh, most interesting to the, the emo kind of crowd, so. I think the game's the game certainly aged a fair bit. Probably aged more than Final Fantasy VII, uh, which came out a decade before almost. Um, but no, it's it's enjoyable enough. Frustrating, but uh, enjoyable. Um, I just want to hear Gact. There are two Gact when Gact. You know what? Two seconds. I'm gonna go turn on the light. There we go, so, <clears throat> yeah, when this game came out, it was uh, accompanied by two image songs by Gact. One called, uh, the B-side was called Longing, which uh, I'm sure it also appears in the game, but the, uh, the actual main song, the main image song for the game, oh Jesus Christ, that's loud. Uh, the main image song for the, the game is a song called Redemption, which is a cracking song. And I was actually hoping that Redemption would be the opening theme, with Longing being the ending theme, but uh, clearly not, seeing as I've yet to actually hear Gact in any way, shape or form. Um, it's actually quite disappointing, I like say, said at the very start of this, I'm a very big fan of Gact. Um, I own several of his albums. And uh, I own a lot of uh, Malice Miser merchandise um, from the era, 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 from the era that Gact was in the band. Um, so it's actually a little bit disappointing that uh, he's not in the game, because I, if I understand correctly, he also voiced Genesis. There we go, theme song Gact. Um, if I remember correctly, he voices Genesis slash G, however, in um, the Japanese dub of both this and Crisis Core. But um, oh, actually, why is that so small? There we go. I've turned on the wrong one. Um, not having a great day with the stream, am I? But anyway, yeah, I think I'll be back on this tomorrow for another couple of hours. Uh, I actually have no idea how long this game is. Um, that was what, three, three stages I think I beat there. 
Um, who knows? I'll maybe have a quick look into the, the uh, actually, what are the extra features? Can I can I have a look at the extra features yet, or do I have to beat the game first to get these, or what's what's the crack with these? Event viewer. So surely I can watch. I assume that's the cutscenes. Any cutscenes I've, I've watched so far, I can probably watch again. Oh, official trailers. Tokyo Game Show trailer, retail display trailer. Tokyo Game Show trailer. Let's have a watch of that. That'll be Japanese. Wonder if Gak's in this. I know he. Mid, I, I, I got us Midgar and then it changed. Really, I'm just looking for Gax. Yeah, no Gact, so um, unfortunately it's going to be another day for Gact. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday, maybe... Oh, tomorrow is Friday, fuck's sake. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, who knows. Um, I don't know what the rest of that is. What else have we got here? Listen to music from the soundtrack. I must have to like buy these or something like that, or maybe <clears throat> find them. I don't know. And there must be some way to unlock them, surely. Maybe they're in the extra missions. Our gallery is completely empty. Extra missions. Recently I've been working on the development of a virtual combat simulation program for our organization's members. Just remember, <clears throat> the battles you wage within this new environment have nothing to do with your main objectives. Just because you defeat a DG commander in here doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to neutralize one on the battlefield. Oh, and oftentimes you'll find that the virtual world doesn't always play by the rules you may be used to. It may be, sorry, it will take, probably will take some time to get adapted. But if this wasn't a challenge, it would be worth doing, right? Uh, would it? Well, you've heard enough from me. Why don't you get in there and show off? And there we go. No missions available. So yeah, that must have to unlock that. Maybe it's all new game stuff. Uh, yo, China too. China the second even. How are we doing? Uh, I'm actually literally just wait to stop. I've uh, just just fanning about in the menus, um, just to see what all the extra shit is. But I, I think I need to unlock it all, so there's nothing there. Um, but I'm just about to jump off for probably 15 minutes and uh, play some Rocket League, <coughs> wasting your life away with League. Went 12-2. That sounds like my fucking life with Rocket League, but slightly less toxic. <coughs> um, let me know if you're streaming League later. I'll maybe jump on if I'm if I'm not in bed. But uh, like I say, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to I think I'm going to come on at half past ten again to play Rocket League. So I will need to disconnect the PS2 and load back the PS4. Um, <laughs> like I'd watch League. I'd I'd watch you play League purely because I know how toxic it is, and I know how pissed off you get. Um, so I would love to see your toxicity spew from your mouth through Twitch. You'd probably get banned in like a, a couple of days, surely. You just want me to rant about Brian again. I don't want you to rant, rant about Brian. I just want you to rant about League, because it's shite. Um, and I hate it. And uh, I don't understand why anyone would subject themselves to the torture that is League of Legends. But, um, yeah, like I say, I'm going to shoot off for a moment and then uh, come back on with Rocket League, so uh... <laughs> uh, 
Don't even joke about it, man. Don't even joke. But anyway, I'll catch you soon, brother.